Medical evacuation flights to the U.S. have been stopped, and time is ticking away for many wounded earthquake victims. There is a lot of confusion over why exactly the airlift was suspended and who made the call. ABC's David Wright is there this morning with the latest. David. Good morning, Bill. That's right, a lot of confusion over who may have ordered this change and why. And it's proving to be an embarrassment for all parties involved, except, of course, the doctors who are working extremely hard here under difficult conditions to get their patients the help that they need and their patients' lives hang in the balance. At the University of Miami Hospital here at Port-au-Prince Airport, the patients are piling up. This is what we have. And this is probably the best place in all of Haiti. The military abruptly stopped airlifting the critically injured to the U.S. The problem is that on a high level, a decision has been made to hold the military evacuations, which are life-saving, and to not allow these patients to leave Haiti and have their lives saved. Now the politicians are rushing to say, not our fault. An Obama spokesman said there's been no policy decision made to suspend medical evacuation flights. The United States government is working collaboratively with our partners. The Florida governor issued a statement saying, let me be clear, at no time has Florida closed our doors to those impacted by the earthquake. To the contrary, Florida has been at the forefront of the crisis in Haiti. But the Florida doctors who are on the forefront are frustrated. For the first week or so after you know, the disaster, you have this just mass mobilization of everybody wanting to help. And then at some point, the rational comes in and somebody has to pay for it. And that's when sort of all of a sudden the... Everybody the says, hold your horses. The door slams shut. At first, they had an alternative for critical patients nearby, namely the USS Comfort. But now the Comfort is completely backlogged as well, and they don't have any, any space. And they're absolutely doing the best they can. The military's been amazing. So the Comfort um, is full? From our understanding, the comfort is full. The head of the clinic now says if the airlifts don't resume within 24 hours, as many as 100 patients in this one hospital alone could die. That number may well be an exaggeration. It comes from one of the top doctors at the hospital. But it's clear that the, the doctors are putting the pressure on, trying to get their uh, patients the help that they need. And uh, the Obama administration insists it is working to address the logistical hurdles here, and they hope to resume the airlifts as soon as possible.